Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and uh, it is Thanksgiving morning, so if you are celebrating Thanksgiving today, happy Thanksgiving to you. And uh, this video, we've got a pretty good 10x to go over. I think it's one of the better 10x's they have done. And then I will go over everything in-game to get you all caught up for the weekend. So oh, let's get into it. Alrighty, so first of all, you will see this Summon Rush event that starts... Uh, it's 16 hours and 43 minutes for me right now at the time of recording this, but it'll be different for you when you see this. But what this does is it basically functions as a countdown to when the 10X will start. So if you're curious about when it is actually live, that should be a countdown. But as always, you do want to make sure and confirm in the portal by clicking the I. Usually down below, they will list the champions that are part of the 10X if you, if you click on that little I and look in there. So you're going to want to make sure if you're summoning for the 10X, confirm it is live because if you're watching my video right away it's probably not quite live yet so there's the countdown and the portal aesthetic that you should check when you are uh, gonna confirm that so let's go over the champions that are in it I think they're actually pretty good now you probably know my sentiment by now about 10 X's uh, I, th I think for 90 something percent of you out there it's better to wait for a 2x you get a little bit more value per shard in terms of your chance to acquire uh, an account changing champion but it's a good opportunity if you are really trying to target something spe something specific I can't talk this morning then uh, you, you've got a much better chance to get that that specific champion as opposed to a 2x so uh, the first one I'm gonna go over really quick is Lysandra now amazing champion uh, great for the arena great for faction wars general utility uh, one of the best turn meter manipulators in the game both for your allies and your enemies and then has an ability to completely reset turn meter there uh, fully deplete it an amazing 24% all battle speed aura really good base speed pretty good base stats in general with the defense and HP so uh, Lysandra is going to be an amazing champion and one of the best in this 10x Next is Alonicus the Chosen. Um, Alonicus is a solid legendary, mainly used for ally attack compositions like your blender comps and stuff uh, because of this ability right here, teaming up with three random allies. Um, Alonicus is probably, all in all, a, a pretty average legendary. Uh, ha definitely has a role in the game, but I, I wouldn't say Alonicus is like account changing. Maui Tankard is also part of the 10X. Um, pretty solid legendary i would say probably um an above average legendary and uh the the cool thing about molly is she is extremely good in faction wars she is the most impactful champion to have in the dwarves faction in terms of completing the dwarves faction wars so i would say that would be the most notable thing to know about molly and the featured void legendary of this 10x is going to be raglan i actually just summoned raglan the last 2x voids so that was a lot of fun uh, i've been i've been kind of experimenting with with building her up in, in, in a couple different ways and, and and trying to figure out how to use raglan best in the arena and in tag team arena um raglan's amazing she's a really really good support uh one of the better designed champions in my opinion because uh, she's really good, uh, but not like stupid, broken OP or anything. Just just a solid support champion that really does it all. Turn meter boosting for uh, both herself and allies. And then uh, a cleansing with a heal. If you're curious about this uh, heal amount proportional to this champion's attack, it seems like about 600% in my testing. So if her attack is 3k, she'll heal for about 18k. Obviously, there's things that can change it a little bit like masteries. But that is a loose representation of, uh, of answering the, the question of what what is heal amount proportional mean it's about 600 percent of her attack and then she's got one of the best and most reliable revives in the game we we can book this to a two turn cooldown which is insane uh with 75 percent hp in a full turn meter plus a defense aura in all battles which is absolutely incredible so raglan definitely a really solid void champion i expect to be pretty good in the doom tower and age with the game pretty well then we get into the non-legendary uh, champions part of the TEDx, and worth noting, I almost think this is the the more important part to pay attention to when it comes to TEDx's because it's more realistic to acquire epics. So the TEDx is a little bit more impactful. Um, it, it's great when a legendary is a TEDx chance, but you still have to get a legendary just to roll that TEDx. Uh, it's much more realistic to get epics, so you you have a lot more opportunities to roll that TEDx 
to, to get that champion. So I almost think it's more impactful to kind of use 10 X's as a, an epic chasing event. And uh, Seeker is part of this 10 X. Uh, he's, he's part of the best clan boss composition in the game. That is Seeker, Painkeeper, Maneater, Maneater, and then the fifth spot is just your best DPS, something like a Draco Morph or something. I believe that's the comp. I am going to build it at some point soon because I did just get a second Maneater, um, but I, I believe that's the comp. But anyway, the point is Seeker is has a really cool role in the game and in terms of being part of the best clan boss composition that you can build, in my opinion. And uh, he's, he's a pretty solid turn meter booster as well, so definitely a cool epic to have on your roster. Gorgorab is also part of the 10x, and uh, basically, Gorgorab is a really good early to mid game arena champion because he's got speed aura, turn meter boosting, revive, lots of cool stuff, a uh, uh, chance to remove buff on the A1, and uh, and he can also be good in faction wars because of that ability to revive and and the other utility he has that I mentioned on his kit is is extremely good in helping you progress in undead faction wars as well. And if you're if you're struggling to to uh, clear content or progress in dungeons, he can be good there uh, and come in pretty clutch as well. Golden Reaper is in this 10x, and and Golden Reaper is a champion that I'm surprised doesn't get more uh, more love in the raid community that, than she does because she's pretty similar to Apothecary, but also does some cool things that Apothecary doesn't. And Apothecary gets all sorts of love in the raid community, but she's got this ability which is very similar. It's going to be an AOE 30% increased speed buff on a three turn cooldown when booked that also boosts turn meter. That's a very, very good support ability. She's also got an A1 that has a, a decent chance of decreasing the cooldown of one of a random ally skill, which is kind of a cool effect to, uh, to help cycle through your team a little bit faster there on the A1, especially because she's built as kind of a higher speed champion, so you'll proc that effect a lot. And then you've got AOE decrease attack, which really helps the toughness of your team. This is on a four turn cooldown. I think if this were on a three turn cooldown, we would see a lot more of Golden Reaper and, and, and she would get a lot more love. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but hey, uh, still a pretty generally useful champion here, especially for anybody who's early or mid game. And the last champion in the 10X is going to be the Void Epic Sylar. Now, I love Sylar. I've been, I've been uh, singing her praises for a, a very long time. Uh, amazing in Faction Wars, can, can do some cool things in lots of dungeons for helping you progress, especially if you get her in a stun set or something because of the all AoE abilities. We got the AoE A1. AoE A2 and then the uh, the A3 here is, is one of the best uh, kind of su speed suppression abilities in the game. It's AoE big version of decreased speed and decreases turn meter by 40%, which is that's a big turn meter reduction to have on an AoE. And we can get that to a four turn cooldown builder at high speed, get it to like a 4 3 ratio or even better. And you can really keep your opponents suppressed, especially if you get her in a stun set to boot. So, yeah, I think Silar is an incredible champion that, uh, that not enough people try to get utility out of. So, just to wrap up the 10x going on, it is going to be Lysandra, Alonicus the Chosen, Maui Tankard. Raglan, Seeker, Gorgorab, Golden Reaper, and Silar, which is a pretty solid 10x and uh, and especially worth maybe chasing a couple of those epics or something if you don't have them yet. And hey, if you do happen to pull a legendary during it, uh, most of them are pretty solid. Now as we dive into the stuff going on in game, uh, one thing I do want to take just a quick second to mention, uh, to mention is that there is going to be an artifact enhancement event coming up on November 28th, which is in a couple days as of me recording this. So uh, just be a little bit careful right now uh, in terms of, of spending your silver on artifacts because there is going to be a chance to get some value out of an artifact enhancement event. So uh, use it as an opportunity to take stuff to level 11 to prepare to, to, to bump it to 12 or take things to level 15 and then wait until uh, until the artifact enhancement event is live to pop it up to 16. So that's just something I wanted you to keep an eye on. Now let's go ahead, pull up the tournaments and events tab to go over this stuff. Um, really, uh, right now, you, you've got about a day and a half left on the Dragon Tournament. Nothing uh, nothing really of note here except for the, the champion fragments you may want to scoop up. Um, you know, hey, why not? It's something fun to do, and uh, you should collect champions when you can. A brand new epic here, so I I'm at least gonna gonna go after some fragments here uh, and get that. And uh, Dragon is typically a tougher tournament to win because lots of people are willing to go super hard on grinding it, so it can be a little bit harder to finish up in the top 
uh, two or three uh, of your group, but I would at least get out, get get after the fragments here on the right. They're pretty reasonable to get. Unfortunately, there's no void shard or legendary book, so uh, going past that, if you, if you're just trying to min max it, I would probably stop at getting the 15 fragments here on the dragon. We're also gonna have a champion training tournament that is gonna be starting pretty close to around the 10x launches, so you may want to uh, hold off if you've got a champion you're waiting to build. You may want to hold off just a little bit until that goes live and then in the events tab we do have dungeon divers but that's got a long time on it yet so you don't really have to uh, get super worried about that and then like i said earlier we do have a summon rush coinciding with the 10x so this will add our, our, our function as kind of a pseudo countdown to when that is going to start so now let's go ahead and pop up the offers and see if there's anything super worth diving into let's pop that open uh thanksgiving pack so uh, they, they came out with 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 some thanksgiving packs yesterday unfortunately there wasn't anything i was super excited about in terms of like a like a black friday thanksgiving type pack but let's see if this is uh any better here let's plug this in we've got uh 2.8 on the silver energy 1400 and uh 14 that looks like classic refills yep 14 classic refills okay and 28 big arcanes all right that is actually a lot of arcanes um 1400 gems and then the big uh bombshell of this pack is going to be the 14 legendary tomes uh okay so 2.65 um it's expensive uh it's, that's a big offer to not get any shards i would have liked to see them throw in a few shards especially being during a 10x i think that would have been uh but maybe there will be other offers that have that um yeah, so uh, you know you got, you got to grade this based on your own spending and uh, and and what you kind of need on your account. All I do is kind of grade the offers and how they relate to what we typically see in the game. So this one is a two point six five, which is technically pretty good. Uh, Black Friday pack. This is a little bit better. I, I I like the cheaper ones that are a little bit more realistic to buy for for more people. So let's plug this in here. Um, we've got twenty of the middles and two million silver uh no energy but we do get 12 energy refills three days of xp uh five classics and three legendary tomes okay so yeah 3.44 this one's definitely better and also uh and also a lot more realistic to purchase um at 15 dollars. I, I like those a lot more than the 70 dollars ones uh, $70, it, it, I, I like it to have some shards in there to at least give you a chance to hit something big for your account. So, um, yeah, this one, this one is, is more in line with something that, uh, that I would recommend scooping up. Uh, so yeah, I, I like the, the, the Black Friday pack. This one's, this one's pretty good here. The monthly pack, uh, is a 2.68 or something, something around there. If you're curious about how that one graded out, it's a, it's technically a pretty good pack. Uh, mini mix is, is a daily type thing. And sixty dollars for lifesteal gear is a no go. Um, there really, there's uh, nothing that's worth sixty dollars in in terms of gear purchasing, in my opinion. But the only one that is would be uh, if you are a, a pretty high spender that is really trying to compete high in the arena. Then maybe the speed or divine speed would uh, would be worth that to you. But for ninety nine percent of people, these, these these big gear packs are not a wise investment, in my opinion. So to wrap up, I think uh, the Black Friday pack would really be probably the only recommendation from me. The Thanksgiving pack is technically a uh, decent value uh, compared to what we typically get for offers in the game, but uh, $70 is, is a little bit too expensive to not get any shards or chance to change your account in, in, in a big way. So I, I would pass on that personally, and this would be my, uh, my, uh, my only recommendation of the offers here. So yeah, that's going to do it for uh, this one. And just to remind you really quickly, the 10X is Lysandra, Lonicus, Maui Tankard, Raglan, Seeker, Gorgorab, Golden Reaper, and Scyther, which I think is a pretty solid 10X, especially on the epic side of things and, and a couple really good legendaries uh, to boot. So yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's one of the top five 10Xs they've done. It, uh, so pretty solid. And uh, if you go after it, uh, hopefully hopefully it works out well. Uh, so I'm going to head over and do a quick uh, little holiday stream and, and hang out with some people for a second. So if you want to join me over there, if you're watching this video right away, I will have a pinned comment down below with a link to my stream if you want to come hang out for a little bit. So that's going to do it for me. And as always, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.